you saw the title of this one and you clicked on it so you know exactly what's happening now yeah we got the android 21 drip team over here android 21's got these in guys today and yeah i must say they look clean however we want to test this in pvp to see how they support each other and how they last against the current meta now i don't want to bore you with the details of what's going on so what i'll do is i will just show you a basic kit of each character and the zenkai level i have them on so i have this android 21 on zenkai ability 2 and that's basically giving blue and tag android a buff now if you max the zenkai out and if you have lf17 that would be awesome because then you would be able to have Android 17 in the leader slot and he will be able to do much more damage which would be great because this is probably the only Zenkai Android 21 has no sorry Android 17 LF has at the moment this is his only Zenkai which is unfortunate because he is fighting against teams that have like five to six Zenkai units on the bench but more or less this is the support unit the blue one Android 21 is the support for the team, so she will basically give the team key, which she will give the allies restoration of health. She will also be able to give herself key upon activation of 10 time accounts and other abilities as well. Now, the best unit of these Zenkais at the moment would be the red one, because the red one apparently has the, the highest blast attack if you max her out. And if you check her max stats for blast attack, it's 271,000, which is insane. So I'm expecting a lot of good things from Android 21 Red. Now, her Z ability is another basically blast attack and defense. So they're all going to def basically increase the defense and also increase their blast attack. Now she buffs Red and Androids as well. So the tag duo LF17 and 18 would be receiving a Zenkai from her. Now I could give the tag droids to Zenkais to give them the Bojack Zenkai as well so that they are a bit more tankier. But since this is an Android 21 showcase, I will not be using the tag droids. They're just here for their Z ability. And last but not least, we have the green one over here. Now I did not do the battle gauntlet yet and I'm not going to Zenkai her or showcase her because she, the only good thing about her is her lock mechanic, like she can lock the opponent in. But other than that, her stats are dismissal at best. Like if you look at it, it's it's insane how bad it is. Um, 259 strike, 272 blast, 180, 180. It seems good on paper, but if you play with her, it's actually the it's actually the opposite. But enough about that. Let me show you the equipment that I am currently using for this team. Um, so yeah, just check that for you. Okay, so. Um, that. Okay, sorry. So yeah, the equipment I have is basically blast orientated equipment as you can see and most of them are used to make sure that they can last longer in battle especially against units that have special arts that do a lot of damage. And also the team I'm using is also able to get reduced cost on the arts cards so it should assist me by by prolonging my combo and that's exactly what I want to do in a PvP match. But without further ado, let's get into the first match so we can see what the mill, I mean what these mothers or mommies can do. For the first match we have a hybrid setup with Alpha Gogeta in the leader slot. So I don't expect us to win because this is a meta team and they are strike orientated while we are blast orientated and we are not on boost nor do we have the defenses. However, since she does, since they got these Zenkai's there, I do expect them to do somewhat on damage. So yeah, without further ado, I guess we will start off with the red one, then the blue and then the purple. Now the purple one is the evil form and she is able to transform. And she does have one of the highest or the highest strike damage in the game, which is amazing. So yeah guys, let's see what exactly the most of 2023 can do. Hopefully something. I'm expecting at least to kill one unit on this team, but I guess we'll see. Okay. Let's go. Come on, boy. Dodge. Okay, he went with his blast armor. So, yeah, the damage he's doing is already insane. Okay, he's got 100 one shot us. Element down. Switch to the evil one. Now, the, the evil one can still tank quite decently. 
and she is a Zenkai 7, so makes sense. But uh, as you know, if you're versing a meta team like this, they can technically continue their combo forever. And if you don't have a disrupt unit, you will die. Like you're just watching, and that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's go to the support type now. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Yeah, no, this is not gonna work, guys. We're not gonna win this match. Can, I can guarantee we're not winning this match. We might have to move on to the next one at this point. So she's dead, and she did absolutely nothing. So this guy's taking it very seriously. <laughs> okay, she's dead as well. Okay, I am going to move on to the next match. That was not a good match to showcase, so I'll rather showcase another match. Okay, so we're gonna try another match and see if the androids can survive against this. Got a fusion team over here with Ultra Vegeta, Ultra Gogeta, and the blue one. So yeah, there's a lot of teams that's technically just um, starting the season off with their best teams because they don't have a life. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Most people start off with their best teams because they don't want to lose. And I am using an Android team that's blast orientated against a team that is strike orientated that has blast armor. So most likely, 9 out of 10 times I would lose this match. But yeah, I'm going to try for you guys to see what the, what the drip is on these Androids. So let's go, blast unit, take it as much, that is terrible damage, I expected more, but anyway, let's go, okay, let's switch to the red one, okay, that's not too bad, okay, let's see, is he gonna stay in, yes he is, nice, okay, we'll switch to the pink one, purple, now she still does decent amount of damage, but it's not the best, so since this is a blast unit, I'm gonna have to transform, Okay, let's get more damage out of it, and let's do this, okay, nice. Okay, let's see if we can go to this one, she's supposed to be support, so I expect her to tank at least, or some form of tankiness, I guess we'll see. Okay, so she is quite tanky at the Zenkai 3, but at the moment, Gogeta starts with his strike, or blue card, we probably did, so let's see if we can survive. Okay, we did survive, so that's good, I suppose. We don't get cards when we activate our main ability, so that does suck. And her blast damage is terrible. It is literally terrible. I thought it'd be better, but obviously it's only Zenkai 3. Her strike damage is also bad. Um, okay, let's see what happens in a rush. Switch to Vegeta. Yeah, I figured this one. Okay, so I'm most likely getting guest chest since I chose blast. I should have chosen strike. She doesn't get any forms of upgrades in terms of a rush, so I won't be killing over here. And unfortunately, I think it's a neutral element. Since I'm red and he's yellow, I should have had more damage out of that. But, um, no. Okay, we'll switch to the, the red one now. Let's see what we can do here. I have the element advantage now, so that does give me some sort of leeway. Well, until that point. <laughs> the moment he's in, it's technically over. Look at that damage though, look at that damage, it's insane how much damage you can do. Okay, so with this guy, we're gonna have to dodge. Okay, the, the, um, the blast damage is not too bad with the red one. And he just healed, <laughs> he healed instantly, just like why did I even try? Okay, let's eat this guy up. Sharing is caring, right? Oh wow, he can stop that, that is insane. Wow, did not expect that guys, did not expect that. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna tackle me, no he's not. He wants to rush me. I know he wants to rush me, you can see it in his face. Okay, shading is scaring, that did no damage. And this one absolutely cannot win. Yeah, she's dead. So the support unit, the blue one is, is very bad. I wouldn't actually, I wouldn't Zenkai this team guys, to be honest, I would not. They are not able to survive the current meta. Sure, they can last long in PvP, but the amount of damage they're lacking, even though I know I only have them at Zenkai 2 or 3, I feel like even on Zenkai 7 it would be the same thing. They may have blast damage here and there, but in a meta where strike units don't work, as you can see, where blast units don't work, I mean, there's no point. There really isn't. Yeah, there's no point at all. But yeah, that's the showcase of the, the MOFs or the 21 squad. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's not worth it guys, it's not worth 
upgrading the Zenkai at all. I'm going to leave them on Zenkai 3. And that's about it. As you can see, Blast Armor is too powerful. And there's literally nothing I can do about it. So if you don't play with a meta unit, this is what you're in for every single time. It's quite disappointing. So yeah, anyways, that was the showcase of the trio Zenkai units. Now the green one I did not showcase because I didn't do the gauntlet yet, but even if I do the gauntlet, I can most likely tell you it will be around the same margin of error. They won't be able to survive. So I won't be showcasing that. I'll see you guys in the next. Cheers.